Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. First card out is the Seven of Cups. And you know what's funny about this? Because the Four of Wands is here. I didn't want to say this, but I'm going to say it. I was sitting here um, before and I kept hearing this song. This is probably the third reading that I've sat down to do over maybe the last month where I've heard this song, um, SZA. And, you know, she said, I can't lose when I'm with you. It's called snooze. Somebody here is really thinking about, I believe, like a relationship. Okay, this could be like a love reading. Oh, wow, look, four of wands, two of cups. It's like somebody's fantasizing about a relationship. Marrying someone, living with a person, traveling with someone. Like, somebody is truly... Thinking about this, like daydreaming, fantasizing. It's all about a relationship, though. Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands is here, and the Seven of Pentacles with the Star. I just don't know. With the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands here, somebody is fighting through some type of situation. There's a, an obstacle or a challenge here that somebody is truly trying to work through. Um, five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands could... Be somebody is having an ego death here. There could be financial hardships. Somebody is feeling abandoned. Just there's some kind of struggle here. I don't know if a person is feeling intimidated by someone, but um, how can I snooze and miss the moment? You're just too important. Somebody doesn't want to miss out on the opportunity. Just period. Yeah. The star and the world. Somebody is like dreaming. They're fantasizing about living their life. This is the, the truth. Ace of Swords. Like living their life. Traveling with you. If you move, they want to shake. Okay? Like they just... Somebody is really into you or you're really into someone. Um, I feel though like somebody is not really coming out saying this. I feel like somebody is... I'm hearing somebody is suffering in silence. So I don't know if this is someone that you're currently connected to or someone from your past. Just know, though, somebody is really, really, really thinking about being with you. And I mean, they want to have a very happy, successful life with you. This is more than just a like a relationship. Somebody wants to do life with you. And with the five of wands, the five of wands can speak of competition. You also have, there's a third party energy out here as well. This seven of cups, five of pentacles. This is somebody who has been very invested also in competing with you because you have a, some of you, you're in a very beautiful connection already or you're manifesting one. Okay, and there's an energy here that is really, really looking into your life or the situation. And this person is somehow like secretly competing with you. Um, somebody is somebody's ego is being very much bruised as well, because I felt that with the two of cups and the four of wands being here in the five, this energy it's like somebody thought they, I'm hearing, they thought they had it in the bag. Somebody thought they had a person just on lock, and that's not the case. Somebody has moved away from someone. The world and the star, yeah. It's a cycle here that's complete. Someone has finally learned a lesson. They've accomplished something major in their life or they're about to. The star what somebody is about to accomplish is true wish fulfillment, happiness. I'm hearing somebody say, I'm just about to go all in. Somebody is ready to truly like I said, go all in. This is a relationship, a business partnership, whatever it is. The six of wands. Yeah, there's victory and success here. After some type of conflict, chaos, you have like a somebody that is your rival 
Yeah. The Hierophant is here. And the King of Cups. Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah, look at that. King of Swords here too. And the Devil. And the Lover. So you have two people in your energy. Somebody is really trying hard to get into your energy or back into your energy. You literally have here the Hierophant, the King of Cups, the King of Swords, the Devil, and the Lovers. Some of you have several people trying to get into your energy. I don't know what has happened, but especially like if you are in the Divine Feminine Energy, you are um, opening yourself up to receiving some type of Divine Love. But the, the truth is, is that maybe as you've been cutting cords, cleansing, clearing, or simply just healing, you have a person that is like really really obsessed with the idea of getting into your energy and you have to make a choice here the king of swords the king of cups the devil there's a there is some kind of toxic connection here some type of codependency but again somebody also is very much it, it, i want to say you hate to use the word healthy and obsession together but it is sort of like a healthy obsession like somebody really wants to be connected to you for the right reasons and then you have someone that does not want that wants to be connected to you and it's not for the right reasons but there is a person that's coming in for sure and they they're serious about you and this commitment this connection, they're very serious about it. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. <sighs> I am so sorry, but I need to go turn off an alarm. One second, you guys. I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> I literally was running to turn off the alarm and I just realized too that I was talking about the song Snooze earlier. And I had to turn off that alarm. That's so crazy. <laughs> so crazy. So let's see. Knight of Wands. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. See? Oh, man. This is two different energies. And the Nine of Pentacles with the Tower. Four of Swords. Somebody wants to come out of a separation or a breakup or something. But you also have someone here who is healing. Some of you, you, you have two people who are really strong in your energy. I'm trying to think, like, what is that song Snooze about? Somebody just feels like they can't, they, they need you to win. Two of Swords is in reverse. So, some kind of stalemate energy is, is over. The Queen of Swords. I think though that you, you're choosing now to no longer be in denial or stuck at a crossroads. Seven of Swords. And the Page of Wands.
The Two of Pentacles is in the reverse. I think that you're about to get some very exciting news or you're about to tell somebody that you're making a choice. There's no more juggling here. Um, there's a decision that's being made. The Page of Wands, this is going to make someone very happy, very excited because all of this juggling energy is on top of the lovers, which speaks of a choice. And the Queen of Swords is right underneath the devil. So whatever is toxic or codependent, you're cutting this out or you have cut it out. Some of you, it, it's, it could be a habit, okay? It, it's something that you are no longer going to do. It's about to usher in this brand new energy. Yeah, let's see. Temperance and the Three of Cups. It's happening. It's ha for somebody here, like I literally, I can, I can feel it. It's happening for you. It, like, please trust the part. It's happening. Spirit, and you, whatever it is that you, you've been working on, man, it's, you know what it is. It's happening for you. Three of Cups and the Temperance card is here. Yeah, you're finally about to experience real peace, balance, and harmony. Like, I mean, true happiness. You may have been feeling like, oh, no, something is over. The Wheel of Fortune, yep. Justice, I'm telling you. Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, and Temperance. The Death card is in the reverse. And then the King of Wands. This is like resurrection here. Death, rebirth, resurrection. The King of Wands. There's a very strong, dominant energy that's coming in. We now have the King of Cups, the King of Swords, and the King of Wands. This King of Wands is falling right underneath this page of wands. For some of you, you could be there could be three different people that you are somehow energetically connected to. Or this King of Wands is either this King of Cups or this King of Swords. But I'm going to tell you, now because your energy is open, ready, and available um, for some type of partnership, collaboration, relationship, whatever, this energy, this person, this, this energy is going to come in so fast. I'm, I'm telling you what I say. Ten of Cups. It's coming in so fast. Three of wands, three of swords. You're healing. And somebody can expect to be heartbroken because you're about to really, really have wish fulfillment. And I <laughs> look at this. Three, three, three. Mind, body, spirit. Everything is aligning. Justice and temperance. The number three or 333 three, three could be significant for someone. Something is happening. I've been saying this too. Um, the death card and temperance, that's Scorpio and Sagittarius. So over the course of, I'm just going to say the next, for some of you, six to nine weeks, six to nine days or weeks. The sun. Wow, the cherry and the ace of cups. I just like when I said this is so clear. And that was 100% an omen. Like when I sat down, I'm like, I wasn't going to say anything. I'm like, why am I hearing this song again? I, I hear this song maybe once a week when I sit down to do the readings. And I don't always mention the songs that I'll hear when I start to um, do a reading. But I heard this song. I'm like, here we go again. If somebody is clear, sending a clear message, I I can't lose with you. Like, it has to be me and you through thick and thin. I'm down for whatever. I need you to be down for whatever. Like, that's the energy. Hold on. Let me see. Snooze.
It says, I'll do what all of them around you scared to do. I'm not. But, you know, one thing about this song is the lyrics in the song, the things that she's saying, I'm like, mm. <laughs> I can't tell you that I'm willing to do all that now. But overall, the message is I can't lose when I'm with you. How can I snooze and miss the moment? You're just too important. Nobody do body like you do. I can't just snooze and miss the moment. So somebody is like, listen, I can't miss this moment. This could be somebody in your life now, somebody that you randomly meet in the future or somebody from your past. But it, it's it's an, um, time is of the essence here. Somebody is like, listen, I, it's things going on in your life, my life, in the world, whatever. But I know for a sure fact that somebody here feels like a person is truly like their angel, their heaven sent they're like a good luck charm somebody's like listen i i just know that i have to have you eight of swords ten of swords three of pentacles somebody is in their head though they're feeling trapped because of a group a, a job situation some type of collaboration somebody is also in their head possibly worrying that you are with someone else or you could end up with somebody else. Somebody could be stressed out too about someone taking a particular job. But the Ten of Swords, somebody is in their head and they know that they have very bad luck. When they're not with you, they, they're realizing that they have bad luck. The Three of Pentacles though is collaboration, it's teamwork, it's having goals that you share with someone else, obviously. Ten of Pentacles, wow. And here's the judgment. So it's interesting because now we have three fours out here. I have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody is going from bad luck, hitting rock bottom to having everything, okay? Somebody could be in jail or they are afraid about going into about going to jail or if it's not actual jail, like incarceration, somebody it has just been in their head. They've been at rock bottom for so long. Somebody here could definitely be struggling with their finances or losing something, but there is a judgment call that's happening. Somebody is going through an awakening nine of swords, nine of um the number nine, the hermit. So somebody is going within and they're like, oh, wow. All of my burdens seem to just disappear. And I have the ace of pentacles when I'm with this person or when I'm doing something that this person has taught me to do. When I take the advice of this person, my life is better. When I'm around this person, my life is better. Oh, wow. I, I couldn't get jobs until I started going here. I started doing this. Somebody is realizing that making a certain change in their life, whether they cut out a person, place thing, a job, a habit, by connecting with you or you're realizing by connecting with somebody else, you're like, there's no way I can pass up on this. And you may be feeling like, oh, well, it's too good to be true. But no, something here has been divinely guided to you. This, this same energy has been coming out a lot lately. The Queen of Wands is in the reverse. The Two of Wands is in the reverse. So if you had a person out here um, who was constantly trying to send some type of energy towards you or interfere, this could, Five of Wands, this could be the person who has been, you know, jealous, envious, trying to compete with you or whatever. The two of wands is in the reverse. This person, they they don't have a a leg to stand on. There's nothing. <clears throat> there's nothing that they can do. And I do feel like this person definitely took action with the ace of wands and the magician. They took they took it upon themselves to do something, but the eight of wands is here in the reverse. So whatever type of energy somebody has recently sent out, it did not work. This was for sure a missed opportunity. The four of cups is in the reverse. Somebody was trying to go after a masculine they were competing 
perhaps with a divine feminine. If you're wondering what's going on, even spiritually, whoever this karmic energy is, they've lost this battle. Yeah. Sagittarius season begins on November 22nd. I'm recording this video. It is actually um, November 19th. And there's a full moon in Gemini on the 27th. Some of you, honestly, somebody, they could be so... Um, <laughs> Somebody could already be trying to do something spiritually to block you or to do some crazy stuff because of this upcoming full moon. It doesn't matter. Your peace, your balance, and you being restored and redeemed, that has already happened for you spiritually. It's just trickling down into the 3D now. So it's, it's like here, you can see it. This queen of wands here with the two of wands, that's making a decision. Okay, somebody has to make a decision. Are they going to move forward or are they going to um, move backwards? Okay, the Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups can speak of somebody procrastinating, being bored, discontent, missing out on an opportunity. And then you have the Eight of Wands, which is also in the reverse. So everything here, when it comes to this Queen of Wands energy, Every action that this this person is taking action, the four of cups is here and it's in the reverse. This is someone here who is miserable. The, that's why the four of cups, this person is always discontent, bored, unhappy, sad, whatever. Whatever type of energy they are projecting out, the eight of wands is in the reverse. It has lost all power, all momentum. It's not. It's not doing what it was doing in the past. This person, though, keeps on trying to spark up something, um, projecting some type of energy. They could even be trying to project themselves out with astral travel or projection or whatever. But this person is constantly casting and conjuring up some type of energy to send out towards this emperor. Yeah, this is somebody from the past. Somebody wants this emperor to still be theirs some way, somehow. The moon card... And the strength card, and I've been talking about this, um, this Leo energy. <coughs> Somebody's birthday could be anywhere between August. Hold on, August 6th, August 4th, August 8th, August 18th. It's August 18th. Will that be Virgo season? Somebody is a Leo Virgo cusper. It comes out constantly. I'll be so glad. I mean, this could be anywhere in somebody's chart, but if somebody on this channel <laughs> that comes out at least once a week, like I said, at least about once a week, this energy comes out. Hold on. I need to see when Virgo season is. Okay, so Virgo season doesn't start until August 23rd. So this is for sure, uh, August, somewhere between, this person's birthday could be somewhere between August 8th and August 18th. That's a very specific message. But the, but August, there's a Virgo out here too. Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is, whoa, okay. Eight of Cups. The Empress, the Six of Pentacles, <clears throat> and the Knight of Pentacles. Whatever this is, a divine feminine, I feel, walked away from it. It wasn't equal give and take. You walked away from this. And now somebody knows that you mean business. Somebody knows that you're not going to settle. You're not going to play any games. The Four of Swords, you're healing, you're resting, you're retreating. Yeah. Trust me, if you've been in the energy for a long time of feeling misunderstood, you're not misunderstood. People know exactly who you are. Knight of Swords is here. Somebody's about to take sudden action. The Knight of Pentacles. This could be you or somebody else that's about to quickly. The Knight of Pentacles is going to turn into the Knight of Swords. Somebody being slow, very patient and methodical. Somebody is like, no, they're about to quickly take charge in this situation. 
Because by you detaching and even thinking about walking away from somebody and somebody knowing that you're the empress, they're like, there is no way. They can't snoop. They can't they can't miss out on this opportunity. They just know. Six of swords. Somebody can't move on. They don't have any peace. Moving on. Trying to move on without you. There's no peace. The five of swords is in the reverse. There has to be some type of peaceful um, resolution here. And I feel like somebody is just saying, forget it. Like, I'm, I'm just going to go all in. I'm going to make this person an offer. I'm going to do whatever I need to do. Ace of swords and the nine of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody knows that you're valuable. They they want to get down on bending knees. Somebody's like, I need I need you. This is not just a I want you. This is I need you, and it's not coming from a codependent place. The Devil and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody was was teamed up though and collaborating with a very toxic energy. Queen of Swords here. Yep. This devil, somebody here, like I said, is just very toxic, very much obsessed over this King of Wands, which I said, it's this King of Wands is coming in. Somebody has been trying to really cover up and hide the fact that they are still heartbroken about this person. This could have been, this could be someone's ex um, partner. Like, it, there could have been an actual marriage here. Somebody left a marriage or a divorce. They went on to start a passion new beginning. They met somebody new. You could be the person that someone has met. This person could be thinking now about actually proposing to you, taking the relationship to the next level. The lovers is here. They see wish fulfillment, happiness, marriage, kids. They see taking a leap of, they see everything with you. Eight of Wands, they're, they're on the fast track to building a family with you. Yeah. Cool, calm, and collected you are. Like I said, you're being res redeemed, restored, um, healed, everything. Six of Wands, there's going to be victory and success despite any type of conflict, competition, or juggling that has occurred. There's been somebody who has been hacking, stalking, or spying on a masculine, trying to figure out what this person is doing. Where is this person rushing to? And each time they find this person is passionate about something, they try to bring an ending to it. It's not working anymore, though. Yeah, this is somebody who is definitely stalking. And they've been using some kind of devices to do this. This is something that a person is doing during the moon cycles and at night. Somebody is definitely astral traveling or projecting or they're tapping into someone's phones, devices. Hacking, stalking, spying some kind of way. This is someone's ex-wife or ex-husband. Somebody has divorced and this person has still been in the background lingering. Trying to get into someone's life or into their energy somehow. It's not working. King of Swords. And the Magician. This person is constantly trying to um, manipulate this King of Swords, their mind. King of Swords is someone who is very matter of fact. This King of Swords knows that their destiny is this divine feminine. They know that. So you have a person that's doing possible magic, especially like moon magic and other things, to try to manipulate this person, this masculine's mind, so that they're not actually trying to go towards this divine feminine. It's not working. It's not. Knight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody has a plan to really put in the work. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, the King of Swords. It's a Libra out here. Libra. Libra Aquarius Gemini. Like I said, there's a Gemini full moon coming up soon. But somebody is getting a very strong download of who their divine feminine is. They're putting together a plan to go and put in work with this person. But someone here 
has been watching, stalking, hacking, spying somehow, maybe even sending some type of monitoring spirit out to figure out who this actual divine feminine is, because this is someone that still wants something with this masculine. This masculine has already left. They've already gone through a separation or a divorce. They're, they've moved on. This person could have met a divine feminine while when they were coming out of a relationship or a divorce. They met someone. And the connection with the person that they met, you know, it was faded. It may not have been much. It could have even started out as just something passionate. It could have... This person could have been lusting after a divine feminine, but now it has turned into much more. Somebody is now thinking about marriage and commitment, but they have come out of a long-term toxic connection, maybe even a marriage with someone else. But the decision has been made. But somebody here has a phone or some kind of device, tracking device or something that they've been using to stalk and spy on a divine feminine. Something with that situation is changing, though, because they don't have the the same access to something. But it's not even about this person's access. Somebody here can watch, stalk, and spy all day long. What a person doesn't understand, though, is that once this masculine makes up their mind, it doesn't matter what they do. You can watch this person all day all night and twice on Sunday, if you want to, this person is still going to wherever they're going. They're literally up fantasizing, daydreaming about having happiness, a home life, stability and security with someone else where they know they can be successful. Somebody wants a divorce or they've divorced somebody. It's a dead end situation. And they're like, they're like, they've checked out. And I, I feel strongly too, like this is a feminine here. This is a distorted feminine. This is a feminine who feels like they are a divine feminine. They're blaming everything on this masculine and this divine, the actual divine feminine. They're trying very hard to make a divine feminine out to be karmic because they feel, you know, and this happens a lot. I'm just, let me just speak on it. And some people may be mad. Just because somebody marries you does not make, mean that you're, they're your divine partner. You can choose a person for yourself and they can choose you. That doesn't mean that that's the person that God chose for you. And I see a lot of people, you know, fall into this mindset that just because a man or a woman married them, that that means that they're truly chosen. It's going to last forever. There can be nobody better than them. No, that's not the case. People get married when they're young or just when they are lacking self-awareness and then they begin to grow heal and evolve the person that they marry no longer is a fit for them because they're no longer the same person it happens and and you know it's really weird because again you have a lot of people they feel just because they're in the relationship with a, a person just because they got their marriage certificate that makes them the divine feminine and they go out and whoever the person is it comes in after them, everybody wants to, you know, shame the new person. Everybody wants to shame the new woman or shame the new guy. That's where that person's journey has led them to. So leave them alone. Like you can, this is somebody here who is watching, stalking, tracking a uh, masculine. And the question is for what? The person has moved on. They don't want to be with you anymore. That's not what a person wants to hear, but it's the truth. The man doesn't want to be with you. That's why he's else, elsewhere doing what he wants to do. And he's absolutely thinking about building a life with that other person. So you can call the other person a, a mistress and, and a karmic. You can say what you want to say about them. But at the end of the day, you're not getting this person that you're spending all of your time watching, stalking, and tracking. They don't want to be with you. And it's unfair to the people who are divine feminines and masculines who kind of inherit these problems because you'll be living your life. You'll run into somebody that, you know, <laughs> perhaps you're actually equally yoked with and they'll have some nutcase in the background that feels like they they own this person. And oftentimes when people have have had a life together, 
everybody feels like, well, you owe me. We we have these memories. We did this. We did that. No, you don't own any person. Everything comes with with an with an expiration date. You know, when your timeline with somebody has run out, then accept it for what it is. Somebody here was in a codependent relationship and, and at least one person in the connection has grown. They've healed. They've evolved. They're, they don't need to be in this toxic connection anymore. Regret. Somebody is regretful about, for, for one, somebody is regretful too, warning and children, spiritual lesson. Somebody is regretful too that they had kids with a person that was not their actual life partner. Wow. Twin flame. You have her passion. Somebody is regretful that they that they have perhaps history and children with somebody that they're not actually passionate about because somebody now has left a long-term karmic connection and they've actually met their twin flame. Now somebody is a bit remorseful and regretful about the past. Soulmate. So somebody was a person soulmate. And then you have release here. I feel like somebody is leaving behind a twin flame to go to somebody that taught them a lot of lessons to go towards their soulmate, or someone is leaving behind a soulmate to go towards their twin flame. Whatever title you want to give to it, it doesn't matter. Somebody is leaving somebody to go towards another person that they feel like their actual soul purpose is more aligned with just period and it's time for somebody to release this regret and accept the truth for what it is radical acceptance and surrender can help you to let go your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally somebody was with a person before who was constantly teaching them lessons because it was karmic it was very toxic and codependent it could have been, like I said, karmic soulmate, karmic twin flame energy, whatever you want to call it. Somebody now is going towards a divine counterpart connection with somebody that they know they love and accept unconditionally. There's no conditions here at all. Somebody wants to be in a connection with someone where they can be completely vulnerable. You cannot be vulnerable with a person who is upset with you because you're growing and you're healing because let's be honest when you start to grow and heal and evolve you look at every person around you very differently because you see yourself differently somebody is upset i'm even getting here somebody could have um wow <laughs> This is specific. Somebody encouraged their partner to go to counseling, to therapy, or even to do shadow work. The person started to heal on their own and at a more rapid pace. Somebody didn't realize that by trying to introduce a person to healing, counseling, therapy, or whatever, that the person was going to wake up from the illusion that this was actually a healthy connection. They didn't realize that somebody then they went out on their healing journey and they met somebody different. They don't want to be in this connection anymore. Wow. Addiction, I told you. And here you have a mastery. Somebody learned that they were in a toxic codependent connection with somebody. Somebody could be fussing and fighting now about finances. One person is giving too much. Something here was strictly sexual. Or this could be a situation now where somebody, they're just kind of sleeping together. They're still together because of the finances. One person is giving too much. But it's time for somebody to accept that this, this is all happening for a reason. Because two people are actually on two different pages. So this, for some of you is what's kind of happening in the background of a situation with a person that this is either your situation and you know you're 
one foot in, one foot out, going towards somebody else, or this is what's going on with the person that's coming towards you. Somebody here is either you that's watching or whoever your person is that you have on your mind. They definitely want to be with you. Somebody is holding on to you or this person, though. And, and for those of you, you will definitely know this is your story. If somebody here is going through or recently went through a long term, like a, a breakup from a long term partner or a divorce, this will definitely resonate with you. 